We can't all plant large trees in our garden, so why not choose some compact native shrubs? They're highly adaptable to a range of soil conditions, attract a large array of birds and bees, and I've been weaving a variety of them into my garden. They don't just look good, they also provide habitat, shade, windbreaks, and are easy to manage. We've got a number of relatively small yet steep banks in our garden, and we've used plants to stabilise them, including a range of compact natives. Over here, we've got the native Hardenbergia. Now, it's often used as a climber, but you can also grow it as a shrubby ground cover. And when it does that, it can help suppress the weeds. It can also attract beneficial pollinators to the garden. And below the ground, the roots are actually helping to fix nitrogen into the soil. All these different functions can benefit other plants, including the nearby apple tree. Now, further down the garden, we've got the native myrtle wattle. And this one can grow to around one metre or one and a half metres, depending on the conditions of the soil and how much water it's getting. But it's an absolute beauty. And just like the Hardenbergia, when it flowers, it's bringing in pollinators. And also below the ground, its roots love to help fix nitrogen to the soil. Again, improving the overall soil health for all plants around it. Next up, the native indigo. Now, this one can actually grow quite large, but I prune it very tight to fit into this space because I don't want it to take over. When it does flower, those pinky purple blossoms bring in the pollinators. And again, like the other two, beneath the ground, the roots are also helping to fix nitrogen. All up, all these natives I've mentioned can thrive in pretty marginal soils. Here, I've got compacted, heavy clay soils, and they're planted on a steep north-facing bank where it dries out pretty quick. So they're really fantastic in marginal conditions. Of course, they love lots of water and the beautiful soils if they can get it, but they don't need it. And that's what I'm interested in. Plants that produce all these functions, providing maximum yield in all these ways, but for minimal input. Now, I know I've been banging on about compact natives, but here's an example of something a bit different. It's actually the native hop bush, and it can grow into a medium or large tree. But if you want to, you can shape and sculpt those larger trees into compact shrubs. I've used my electric hedge trimmer, and I've basically box hedged it to create a massive windbreak and also a privacy screen from the car park. It works a treat and is a fantastic reminder that when you choose to, you can actually make plants do what you want. On this site, I'm always looking for ways to buffer our strong winds, even on a small scale. Here, I've got a young native mint bush, and it's going to grow around two metres tall, but you can prune it tighter as well. I'm planting it right next door to my vegetable garden because the winds rip around our house and smash any veggies trying to grow in this garden. So within a few years, this will be up and out and a beautiful permanent feature with gorgeous purple flowers that brings in all the pollinators, but more importantly for this context, protects my veggies. No matter how small your garden is, there is always space for some compact native shrubs, whether that's in a garden pot, down the side of your driveway, or even right next door to your veggie garden.